Dave here. Just wanted to show you how to scope an app from Apple School Manager into Jamf. Uh, so this is in particular for Apple apps, uh, things like Keynote numbers and pages. So these have already been purchased by this school. So I can see that uh, there is a 109 licenses available for this site. So once you've downloaded that, you then go across into Jamf. And if you click on the mobile device apps option, I can see that uh, this site in particular uh, numbers is the only one that's been deployed. So let's have a look at what that looks like for other apps. So let's look at the pages. We know that we've got 109 licenses to be able to deploy there. So I'm just going to hit pages and uh, come down to edit. And you can click on categories and then choose which category you want your app to be deployed to. You then come down and have a look at all the other options here. So you can make it as um, just available in self-service and people have to download it themselves. Or if you click on that, you need to change it to automatically uh, install. And this will overwrite the Apple app that's already on the device and make sure that it doesn't ask for a um, iCloud username. So let's click manage. That's really important. That again makes sure that the login is removed. You then come up the top, go to scope, and then choose the target that you want for that. So you're just going to press add. You're going to go to mobile device groups. And because it's an Apple app, we want this one on all iPads. So we're going to click add. We then come across to manage distribution and we make sure that we assign it from the volume purchasing from ASM that we just did. Uh, this takes in account of the amount of license you have and then takes however many it needs from there. You then go back to general and um, you can save that after that. So you should see now on your device uh, that app being scoped to your devices. Okay, and here you can see now pages being installed on the iPad. So that's how you go about scoping an app. I'll do that once more just so you can see. So let's look at Keynote for example. Let's click on Keynote, hit edit, we come through, we choose the category, we're going to keep it in Apple Apps. Now I've created those categories, so you uh, may have different ones, but that's the ones I've created for this site. You then come and click Install Automatically. You then click Make the App Managed. You can then click across to Scope, and you want to add mobile device groups, and we want to make it all iPads. You then click Manage Distribution and tick Assign from the volume purchasing program in Apple School Manager, and then hit save, and done. And that's it. You now wait for that app to be pushed to all those devices. If you find it's taking some time, you can click on the app keynote here, and click edit. And just down the bottom here, there's an option that says force update. So when you click that option there, it then sends a command to all the iPads and forces that app to install. And here you can see once I've forced that update, the Keynote app is starting to load on the iPad. So that's how you force the update if it's not happening quick enough for you. So that's how you push an Apple app to an iPad.